Healthcare workers are in desperate need of medical supplies to stop the spread of COVID-19. To preserve the stock that the state currently has, the governor ordered a halt to all non-emergency procedures in Oregon. The move is meant to ensure that gloves, medical masks, and other personal protective equipment can be used for the rising number of COVID-19 cases. Fox 12's Marilyn Deutsch joins us now from Southeast Portland. And Marilyn, I understand the governor has gone beyond calling for clinics and hospitals to stop the procedures, right? Yeah, she's asking for donations, not just from those clinics, but from anyone. And I got to show you this huge box of face masks that was just dropped here at one of the donation points, this one in Southeast Portland at Portland Fire and Rescue. And the woman who dropped them off just told me that uh, she used to be an ER nurse, and then she started a business, uh, which included having face masks in these medical kits. And she had these left over, and so she just dropped them by and donated them. Now, we're obviously concerned about the rising number of cases. Uh, before this, there was just a few donations of N95 Max. They will filter out about 90% of particles. They're also used by construction workers. In fact, Vice President Pence has just asked construction companies to donate this kind of mask to healthcare workers. Uh, this is at the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this is as the Pacific Northwest and the rest of the country prepares for rising numbers of COVID-19 cases. Now, the governor has asked all clinics to donate excess supplies, and that includes dental clinics and vet clinics as well. Also, we just got word that Medical Teams International, based in Tigard, is now donating, donating personal protective equipment to Providence St. Joseph Health. That's also here in the Pacific Northwest. They are donating 2,500 gowns, more than 28,000 masks, over 20,000 exam gloves, and 6,400 safety glasses to protect healthcare workers from the virus, and of course, to keep them on the job. Uh, so Medical Teams International, we usually hear about the work they do in places like Uganda and Bangladesh and Guatemala and Venezuela. Well, now they're helping us here at home. Again, a reminder, if you have this kind of equipment, you can drop it off here at Portland Fire and Rescue's warehouse on Southeast Gideon and also at the Multnomah County Health Department in Northwest Portland. We have those addresses on our website. I've also tweeted them out at Maryland Deutsch. If you've got them, please deliver them uh, to these two places um, because folks really need it. And by the way, on our website, we are also putting a list of the kind of equipment they need. Uh, even if you're not in the healthcare industry, you may have done some construction work. You could possibly have something that uh, the state needs to battle the rising numbers of COVID-19 cases. Live in Southeast Portland, Maryland Deutsch, Box 12, Oregon.